welcome to this edition of Big Scott 35. Uh, tonight, what I'm going to do is just go over a really quick, uh, actually, retail product. I believe that's how I got all of this. Uh, I don't think I got anything else mixed in with it. Um, I've actually done pretty well. Um, not terrible. Uh, and this is brought on by... Uh, uh, Dr. Exclusives, he wanted to see what I got out of that hockey, uh, what bigger cards. And I'll go over that last. Uh, first, is just some retail um, mixed together. First off, I got this Victor Robles out of the Tops. This is the 86 35th uh, uh, with the material. Then in Don Ross, I hit a, out of 99, a red and white material, Roger Clemens. Then I have a Sixto Sanchez short print variant. I did get an auto out of a Topps Chrome update of Kim. Rookie card, and that's a gold, and I think that, yeah, numbered out of 50. So, I'll take that. And a Clayton Kershaw, numbered out of 250. And then I got a green, I guess they, they're calling this, what are they calling this, like bubble or something. It's numbered out of four ninety nine. Hector Neris. And uh, the baseball professor, I believe, is what he goes by. Uh, or baseball card professor. Uh, this is the one I was talking to you about. I should have guaranteed said your name right. And I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, a Reds auto there. Didn't know if you would be interested in that. I like to get those in a home that, that uh, it belongs to. Out of Heritage, Xander Bogarts, Red. And this was just a uh, retail pack, or no, I take that hobby pack of Opeachy Platinum from last year, uh, Oliver Wallstrom. Rookies and what I wanted to show was how I just love these cards. I mean Upper deck just knows how to do cards. I mean, it's beautiful Just nice silver beautiful Etching around a player not on everything. It's kind of like tops chrome, but you know, it's just beautiful card Just wanted to show that off a little bit next is going to be out of my box of Star Wars uh, blues, these are not numbered. Gosh, I had her name on the tip of my tongue. I mean, that's her name in it. Uh, Phoenix Shan. Uh, she is going to be in the new uh, Boba Fett series. It's kind of right hand man. Vasion Tactics with the child there. Remote. And this is from C, uh, season one. Jawas. <clears throat> then a purple. Uh, not numbered. They have this guy be a hard hit. I only got one out of the box. As you see, I got the blue, and then I got a gold to fifty uh, with the Mandalorian there. And then I also got, this is to me a very strange relic card. It's the Mandalorian. It says Sourced Fabric Relic Swatch. So I was like, what does that mean? It's numbered to 99. And as you can see, it says, you have received a Sourced Fabric Relic Swatch featuring the same fabric used to create the following costume. I thought that was, uh, is that where we're going? So it's not from the actual costume, but it's from the same fabric <laughs> that the costume was made out of. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Alrighty, Tots Heritage. Uh, these die cuts, so I got a uh, Fernando Tatis. Really like that one. Uh, a Casey Miles rookie. A Joe Adele rookie card. Then I got this Dick Billings for the Rangers out of the Heritage. I really like the Heritage autos. You know, I was not lucky enough to see Dick Billings, but a lot of the Heritage autos I've got in the past or seen are from players from my childhood. Uh, so I really, really like those. And this was the other one I was more more thinking of, uh, of their professor. Uh, this Tyler Stevenson on a card auto. So I really, <laughs> I did well with the Reds autographs. So there you have it with those. Uh, next is going to be retail hockey out of all my blasters. Upper Deck Series 2, they have a large blaster and a small blaster. And only when you look them up, you got to see what the card count is. Shame on me for not knowing the card count. They call them both blasters. Makes no sense. This guy, I just kind of pulled out. This guy, uh, you can see, he's one of these ones that's been around for a long, long time. 1999. Uh, 2000 was his first year in the league. He only played two games. But my God, has he had a season. And the reason why, like when I was opening these, this is how long ago. It was the beginning of the month. I want to say it was like April 7th. I was watching the Caps. He plays with the Caps. Uh, in like a minute and a half, less than that probably, uh, they were stuck on their end of the ice. He took one in the back, uh, puck in the back of a thigh on a slap shot. Could barely stand up. Then he finally got up, stood around. A puck popped up in the air off the goalie. It looked like it was going in the net. He knocked it out of the air to the corner. Then he got hit in the body somewhere. And then right at the end of the period, he took one off the skate boot. Uh, he was out for a couple of games. Uh, this man, I think, is 43 years old. Um... And that was just an amazing hockey, uh, just any type of sport. Just, oh my gosh, he just put his body right on the line. And uh, I'm going to hang on to that card. He, I don't have him in a Caps uniform yet. I'm hoping because they're doing an update, a third series this year. So, up upper deck, and uh, I want to say it's like their mojo box. In the large one, you get a special package of rookies. So, got some rookie cards here. I, I really like these. This is the, the hot rookie in the first series. I know he hasn't done much, but, you know, there's my cat, Connor McMichael. William Foudy. And then I really like these Dazzlers. I, I just think, I mean... <laughs> Upper deck, they just do it. I mean, they know what they're doing. Then they got, you know, some flashbacks, rookie cards. Then in the upper deck, uh, in the OP, they'll have the OPG style. Thought I'd pull out those rookies so you can see I got it in a blue version. Portraits. Uh, this isn't my favorite of their inserts this year, but I know a lot of people like it. I do got a couple of reds that I pulled. Um, and then here's my Young Guns from uh, Dylan Cousins. And that's a pretty good one there. Uh, and old uh, Dr. Exclusive, you're going to have to help me out here with some of these. And let me know what I got going on. And these canvas cards, they're really nice. Uh, Jonathan Toes, Towels, please uh, excuse me. I know a lot of people wreck that name, and he's very good. Raquel... And then I did pull a uh, rookie material, Timothy, that guy's last name. So that's just from my uh, from uh, retail. So this is from the box that I, I opened. Uh, again, can, uh, canvas. Uh, I think I have this one already because that looked very familiar. 
Uh, but I have a Jack Eichel, and I know I have this one before, but I am more than happy to get it again. William Carlson. I think, I hate to speak, I'm not big. I know my Caps players, and I know a lot of the players that have played, that they play against. With these guys in the West, I just haven't seen much of their games, so you have to excuse me on the on the West because the East is only playing the East. So uh, this is PK Saban. I know um, I know him uh, very quick, um, quick to the puck, and he seems to always be around the puck when he's on the ice. Just knows where to be. Here's my one Dazzler. Now you saw I got all those green ones out of um, retail. I got this one blue one out of the box. And then I got the Connor McKnight uh, on the Apache. This is, uh, you know, with some rookies got one blue one there. Got a green. Uh, and here's my rookie portraits. Oh, I, I didn't even realize I got the guy that where everybody was looking for in the first one for a portrait in the second one. And here's my young guns. This is what everybody's looking for, uh, you know, when you're pulling these. Uh, I got my other cap there, my capital, Ian Mitchell, uh, Joel Kelman, Tim Stutzel. I'm going to look these up, see what. See what some stats, see what's going on. Because that's like, it's like, pro this is kind of your prospecting. But my understanding, and please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, upper deck can only, with the NHL agreement, they have to actually have ice time before they can make the card. I know they lifted that because a lot of the new players in the first series didn't play in the shorten or the messed up series la uh, season last year. So they lifted that in Series 1. I don't know if they continue that in Series 2 or not. I did get a material card. Very nice. Out of the box. And then I have opened and gotten my first clear. Uh, Thomas Harley. Or Thomas Harley out of 100. For the Dallas Stars. I did look this up. <laughs> Of course, I get one of these, and it's not one of the big guys, um, which is fine. Um, I just love this card. I, I just love these see-throughs. Um, very, very nice, um, and it's very, very well done. It reminds me of their Ice Series. Uh, so, if uh, I'm going to hold this, and whenever I might send this in to CSG with the $8. I, I know I had a... Somebody told me on one of my videos that they're going up to 12, which still is not bad um, for bulk. i just going to have to make sure i got friends to, to help me out with it. Until next time, you know, leave, that's it, by the way. Uh, so until next time, uh, leave a like, share, let me know, you know, what you thought. Actually, I thought I did pretty well with retail. If you can find it, uh, it's by far the best way to go. I found another uh, mega box today. My target did go today. They started one one item per uh, uh, transaction, and you had to go everything under twenty dollars was out on the floor. Anything over twenty, you had to go to customer service. So that's where I got the box of heritage. Uh, but what was weird was they had two pegs full of prism basketball. And uh, I'm not a basketball guy at all. But man, I, it was tempted for me to buy one with the way basketball is. Uh, but I didn't. I stayed true and got the heritage. Uh, but I told them, I, I, I just made the reference of, you, you know, you. And I went over there, and all they had in back there for, for sports cars were some baseball, which was Diamond Kings, a couple of those uh, heritage boxes, uh, the Chase, whatever that is, and uh, Leaf Football, I think it was, over there. 
And I say, you, you know the one that everybody wants is the prism basketball. That's what, if you're worried about it being stolen, that's that's the one you need back here. Even if it is whatever, $12, $13, that's the one everybody wants. And they just looked at me like, get out of here, dude. So I just walked away <laughs> and went shopping. But anyway, that's my haul. Uh, I will be coming to you uh, Sunday. Uh, it's going to be a nice side chance I'll have somebody with me. If not, I will be going over uh, sport lots and eBay and what, what why I go to sport lots. So until then, see you.